as many of you know I collect quite a few different things one of the things is antique lamps or light bulbs I've um, got quite a few of these I have put them up in the past and I'm, I will obviously continue to in, to include some to give a little bit of variety to the uh, things I show now as a lot of you know the old tungsten filament lamp are virtually being outlawed now we have to use the LED type or the compact fluorescent all to do with this green lock but there's no reason why you shouldn't collect these lamps they're getting more scarce on uh, you on um, eBay there are so many people selling reproduction lamps maze are allowed to actually get away with them because they're not efficient they're anything but efficient now this lamp we show here is a GES a Goliath Edison screw it's virtually the same size as the American Mogul there is a slight difference they will fit each other's uh, lamp holders see in here and hold up the light in the base it is unfused a lot of these lamps had a fuse just below the pinch the pinch is that part there and that contains nickeline alloy which expands the same as glass so as the bulb gets hotter the metal leading wise they used to be called dummet wise would expand the same as the glass that way the vacuum would remain in there the little hole you see there is the evacuation tube because these were evacuated and filled with nitrogen you've got a a mica disc and the purpose of that was to allow the circulating air inside and prevent too much heat getting to the to the cap or the base with age these would oft, often go black down there but this lamp in all intents and purposes is brand new although it probably goes back to the third 30s or even more it is an old lamp and it's fully working the filament is intact and it's interesting to note that there's a support wire which connects onto one of the feed-in wires and actually goes onto the filament no I tell a lie of course I do it doesn't go onto the filament it went onto the filament the filament would, would be the wrong length it actually goes on to the little stud which is the middle in the middle you've got your glass there, the little stud at the top and these wires are made of molybdenum let's have a look at the maker famous maker if it can show up I hope it will there are it's Siemens now this is the English Siemens the company was started up many years ago don't ask me for dates I am no good at dates and I'll be the first to admit it this lamps actually um, made in England it's gas filled and it's 210 volts 300 watts and the code on, on it is 29 now those of you out there will be able to tell by that code number the exact age of this lamp so I mention that in case there is someone out there anyhow Siemens was um, they were brothers now they were mainly in Germany and they worked with Halski 
Often you'll see German stuff with Siemens housekeeper, particularly telephones, industrial electronics, or well, I should say electrical stuff. Uh, that was before the electronics came in, although valve stuff was theirs. Um, they also produced some lamps under a different name. Um, they couldn't, in England, use the Osram name, which was a company which was owned by uh, by Siemens at one time and during the war years it was taken over. So lamps over here had to be called Wotan, W-O-T-O-N, Wotan. A lot of these names were derived from the actual elements, chemical elements, that were used in lamp making. Uh, Neuron was another name which was also a Siemens or an Osram name. I just put this in as a little bit of additional information. If anyone else has got any ideas, give us a shout. Always, inc always include these in the notes and things. Anyhow, I think I've covered everything there. The mica disc, the stem, The uh, Dummett type was, although this is not Dummett, or is it Dummett? Yes, it, it is Dummett. Originally, on the very, very old lamps, the leading wires were made of platinum, which, of course, platinum is a very expensive metal, because that did expand the same as uh, this Dummett metal. If you look carefully, you might even see it looks a coppery colour. Coppery colour is the actual alloy that they use and it prevents air getting in. If air did get in, the lamp would not last very long. It would burn out and the bulb would be filled with white smoke. So gently take care. And when trying these, it's best to use a variac, wind it up slowly so you can see it light up from red hot to white heat. Anyhow, I've said my pieces on this. Enjoy, please make comments and thank you for watching.